Welcome back, everybody. My name's Wes Wood, and this is Old Wood Outdoors. And uh, thank y'all for coming back. And if you will, uh, please subscribe. And if you like this video, uh, click on like. I'm getting ready to go fishing tomorrow. Um, I'm going back to the pond where I've been having some luck uh, with some big bluegill and some eater size bass. You know, I need to get on, uh, get in my skiff. I got a 19 foot Carolina skiff. I need to get get out in it and go down and get some uh, white trout or redfish or specks. Uh, I live live here on Blackwater Bay. But anyway, I'll get to that. I'm just having too much fun in this new kayak and uh, catching these uh, bluegills on on ultralight, uh, ultralight gear. And I'm having such a, uh, you know, I've got a good place to go, so I'm having having a really great time. So I'm enjoying that. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna try a couple new lures. Uh, if y'all watch my videos, you know I catch most of my fish on beetle spins, and uh, I'll certainly have beetle spins with me tomorrow. But I want to try a couple new things. Um, back when I was a grad student at Colorado State, uh, I did a little trout fishing up in the mountains and I used uh, ultralight spinning gear and, and uh, used a lure called a Panther Martin and had really good luck on those. And I think that this thing ought to be killer on, on bluegills as well. So I'm gonna try that out tomorrow. Another thing I wanna try is uh, these two and a half inch peewee worms. They're, uh, they've got two hooks already rigged in them and uh, I feel like these things ought to work as well. And on standby, of course, I'll have uh, beetle spins. I've got a variety of colors of, of these different uh, baits, some panther martins and some peewees, so I'll try them out. I think I'll probably start uh, on the worms with a, with a natural looking earth worm. Anyway, give them a try. I think, uh, I think they ought to work. You know, just a little something different. Um, but I never have uh, told y'all about uh, where I'm from or anything like that, so this is a good opportunity to sit down. Uh, I'm from Natchez, Mississippi, uh, down on the Mississippi River. Grew up hunting and fishing. Uh, it was a paradise for hunting and fishing, and uh, so really got into that. Uh, played baseball in high school. Uh, had a good time. A lot of hunting and fishing. I uh, went to Mississippi State, got a BS degree in agronomy, and then later a master's degree in uh, soil science. Then later on, went on out to Colorado State, up at Fort Collins, Colorado, and uh, got a PhD in soil science up there. After there, I, I left and <laughs> got a job down at uh, Auburn University and was there for most of my adult life, 25 years, uh, was a professor there of soil science, taught classes like nutrient management, even taught one, uh, team taught one with uh, the deer and hog expert at, at Auburn, Steve Ditchkoff, he and I taught one together and uh, it was on food plots. Uh, I did how to establish them and what to grow and all that, and he did the uh, science behind where to place them and the theory behind them and all that. And so, had a good career at uh, Auburn. Since then, I've moved down here to uh, Florida. I work for the University of Florida, and um, I'm a professor at University of Florida, but I'm also the director here at the West Florida Research and Education Center, close to uh, Pensacola. We have a research farm up near Jay, Florida, and we uh, have an undergraduate teaching program on the campus of Pensacola State uh, College in, in Milton. Uh, some of y'all may have noticed, uh, uh, well let me just preface this by saying, uh, you know when you get in your 60s, I'm 64, you start thinking more about your health and your longevity, you know we might not have but 20 20 years left, uh, and so back in September of uh, 
15, September 15 of uh, 21, I decided to change my life. I'd gotten pretty fat, 230 pounds for a uh, six foot one guy. I'm kind of light boned anyway. And so I decided to uh, start trying to lose some weight. Well, since then I've lost 50 pounds. I'm down to uh, 180. My doctor has taken me off some uh, blood pressure meds, taken me off of uh, uh, sugar meds, uh, took me off one of my cholesterol meds, and so I'm real happy about that. I mean, I want to be climbing trees, uh, hunting deer uh, when I'm 85 years old. May not be able to do it, but uh, that's what I hope to do. Anyhow, let me uh, let me get ready for fishing. Uh, Four o'clock's gonna come early tomorrow morning when I get up and get ready. I gotta get the, the kayak hooked up, get some lures tied on and that sort of thing. Be ready to hit the water at daylight in the morning. Wish me luck. I wanna catch my lunch tomorrow. Some of them big old brim fried sure would be good. Anyway, see y'all in the morning. All right, first fish of the morning. Feels like a good brand. Caught him on the uh, Panther Morton. Had one bite earlier, but uh, this is the first one I've hung. I probably cast a hundred times. Oh, that's a good brand. Dang good brand. All right. Yes, sir. Fine one to start the morning. Big old copper nose. Bluegill, Florida bluegill. Excellent. All right. Second fish feels like a pretty good brim too. Good eating size fish. Pretty thing. Panther Martin. A little slow this morning, but got two good ones in the box. Pretty nice bass for this pond, for sure. Pretty good fight on this little old ultralight four pound test.
Oh yeah, nice. I think that's the biggest bass I've ever caught out of here. Yes, sir. He'll eat good. Caught him on the path of Martin. I think I got a decent friend. No, it's a bass. Remember the last time I was in here, I didn't catch uh, catch any bass. Looks like they might start hitting today. Anyway, we'll see. We about got a fish fry anyway. I'd love to catch some more than big old brim is what I'm after. Everything on the pan from Martin so far. Alright, looks like another one of these. Oh. He pulled off. Anyway, looked like a dog light. Alright. Looks like I got a brim on. Decent one, hand sized brim. Good deal. Switched over to a different color. Pamp and Martin. Gold blade with a um, black body on it. Yellow spots. Maybe I'll start catching a few. It's been a dry spell. Alright. Another brim on it. Maybe that gold blade and the black body was a ticket. Decent brim. Pretty. All right. Beautiful fish. It's going to be good in the pan. All right, another one. This thing's a little bit bigger. Ah, oh, it's a bass. He'll eat too. Just glad to be catching some fish. Had a drought there for a while. Maybe start biting now. All right, what do we got here? A little old, other one in the little old dog lies. They seem to be at this end of the pond. All right, first time I've had a few bites, but first catch on the little worm I showed y'all yesterday starting to get the hang of it get this out of this guy's so I can turn him loose all right on the worm I think I got a pretty good brim excellent Yes, sir. That's a fine brand. All right. Cool. Then got hotter during the day, so fish on the bottom. Catch a big old copper nose brand. Hooked. 
looking fish. It'll go good, good in the frying pan. It's getting windy out here. It's hot. You see how I had this worm rigged up. I mean, it's already pre-rigged. But uh, I just put a split shot ahead of it. And it's all boogered up now because bass but uh anyway it seems to work good especially after it starts getting hot ended up with a pretty good mess of fish some bass and some big old big old bluegills copper nose good ones today's catch looking good and, uh, gonna be a, a feast. Anyway, hooty hoo. See y'all next time.